You were like going hard on the salt and pepper shakers, huh? Well, it was a take it all proposition. Ah. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well, we are here at the shop today. My hair is crazy. I'm still in my pajamas. I got here this morning at eight o'clock. Um, I did put some makeup on though, so at least we got that far. Uh, but Eric is here right now. He is pulling stuff out of the back of his van and uh, he has given, he's giving us the opportunity to go through it before it makes its way over to the flea market. So um, there's a lot of salt and pepper shakers. So we're gonna go through some of these salt and pepper shakers and pick out the cutest ones we can find. And um, I think we're just gonna putz around the shop today. I know you guys love that, but I spent all day yesterday organizing. <laughs> I spent all day organizing. Um, and I just told myself I'm not gonna film today. I'm just gonna work. I'm gonna organize so that was all day yesterday And then again this morning I've spent the morning organizing and getting stuff in order. So Kind of took a filming break since I got all that footage from Springfield and today is the first day back at it So, um, let's go see what Eric has as far as salt and pepper shakers. Here we go I guess you did buy a few salt and pepper shakers, huh? Indeed You didn't see these. These don't exist they don't exist? They don't exist. Oh, Gettysburg, PA. Happy birthday. Yeah. All right, let's check these out. Cute little animals. You guys know I'm all about the animal salt and pepper shakers. These puppies are adorable. Oh my gosh, look at kitties. Or is that a mouse? Oh, it's a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, he's got a chippy on his ear. What did you just find? Oh, oh no, I've never seen that goofy. That looks like, what is that, Shawnee or American Bisque? Yeah, maybe American Bisque. Yeah. He's Crazy. funny looking. Yeah, well, that's a match. Matchy, matchy, where are you? <laughs> Little risky piggies. Is this that? Ah, there you go, you got her. They're fun. Oh, I love these. Diaper. Those are really cute little deer. You were like going hard on the salt and pepper shakers, huh? Well, it was a take it all proposition. Ah. Amazing. I know Eric pulled those. They're like, like little Humpty Dumpties. Oh, Shawnee? I was thinking American Bisque or oh, Shawnee. Yeah. Those were the two options I, uh, I guess. So. Yes. Oh, those are really fun. I like those ones. So we're going to just put what we want in this little flat here. Um, over here, I was noticing these chubby owls. I might have to go get a sweatshirt on. It's a little chilly out here with the breeze. Andrew, can you lift this and this? Okay. Okay. Teamwork. Teamwork. I like those. Oh. And then this one, too. I want to see underneath it. Look at these ones. These ones. Those are stoneware. Those are really cool looking. I like the, those. Uh, too. Yes, Hawaii. Those are probably um, treasure craft. And then you've got Victrola puppy dog. The light bulbs. No nipper. The giraffes. They're sweet. Oh, these are cool. What did you find? Find that. Oh, a it's bird a bird cage. cage. Oh my Piggies. goodness. Oh, look at the smile on that piggy. As one happy pig. Yeah, he is. It's a kitschy smile. Yeah. It's a kitschy hey, kitschy smile. Me? That's <laughs> kitschy kitschy. Ooh, I like them. They've got a bird on them. Oh wait, oh wait. Okay, there, I got them. Got a bird on them. Viewers are probably gonna be like, why aren't you just buying them all? Because <laughs> that's a lot of salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, there's some that need to be. I don't think we could handle all of these. Yeah. These are Shawnee, I think, right? Aren't they Shawnee? Yep. Yeah. Take the Shawnee ones. Those are pretty nice. All right, what else do we have here? These are kind of cool. Christmas trees over here. Christmas trees? Oh, yeah, Christmas trees. 
Last year, you got us some Christmas salt and pepper shakers, and I just uncovered them yesterday. Oh, cool. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. He's a little nodder. Yeah. He doesn't really nod. Yeah, well. His head just comes off. Yeah. No, they're super cute. I like them. It's a little less that you'll have to edit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's keep going. Eric's got places to be. I kind of like these ones. These are like 1970s. Japan. Owls. Oh, I see a mushroom. Mushroom? Is there a magic? Imagining? Magic. And that was like between magic and mushroom. You there just said is. magic. Is. is that a magic? Two little magic. mushrooms. Magic. Mushrooms. <laughs> they legitimately have little hair. They do. <laughs> Look at that. They've got a comb over. They do. <laughs> Look at these, uh, ooh, these little Mr. Peanut things. Would those be worth money? Because Mr. Peanut died. Yeah. Uh, they are. And Pink's yeah. a rare version of them. Really? It is. Rarer than the red or the... Uh, which one? Mr. Peanut. I always pass up Mr. Peanut stuff and my viewers are like, don't miss the Mr. Peanut, so. Yeah, he's still popular. I like these little squirrels. Little squirrel salt and pepper shakers and big squirrel. I think these ones are American best. Made in Hong Kong. Dang, <laughs> they're weird. <laughs> they are weird. They're cool though. I like weird. Yeah. Okay, match. These are really cute. Oh, those are the ones that squeak, usually squeak. Here. Squawk. Squawk. Yeah. Mm -mm. They're so sweet. I love their faces. We could, we could glue some googly eyes to them. We could. <laughs> Make them even better. These are what I want. The tigers are cute. They're cute. I like oh, the tigers. Yeah. yeah. I like tigers. Mm -hmm. Cactuses. <laughs> There's one in every family. Oh my god. <laughs> Eric likes fish. Are these your kind of fish? Just, no, trout. Just trout. Outhouses. Trout or pike or not even bass so much. I'm full of oh. pea. I'm full of us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> outhouses, yes, we need these. <laughs> they're cute. Yes. Just drip and drip drop. And I think we're just keeping everything propped up and correct. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, we have one in the shop that I found yesterday. These are about cordials. Mm -hmm. Waterford. Yep, they are marked. It's faint, but I can see it. Mm -hmm. Nice. How many are in there? Six. Six. Well, now we have seven. <laughs> we just made it uneven. Ooh, I really they like are those. They definitely colorful. I wonder if they're Christ because of the jeweled eyes. They're really light. Like, mm -hmm. really light. Ceramic? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I love those uh, Siamese kitties. Ooh, these are nice. Those Siamese cats over there are cool. Dogs with hats. Oh, he's so cute. Hats with dogs. Oh, they, have, they even have a bench. Oh, they're kissing. I love them. Okay. Making kissy faces. <laughs> Look at these guys. Does he sit on top of him? <laughs> <laughs> That's Nanner. Dead. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay, this is the last this is the last one. Alright, so we are going to purchase those over there and leave all of the rest of them for the flea market on Sunday. By the time you're seeing this video though, the flea market will have passed. <laughs> so there will be a lot of salt and pepper shakers at the flea market this week. Now I know it doesn't look like much. But there was a massive pile here before. And I literally went through every single box 
in the pile and resorted it. And in the end, the piles in the back here are all for parking lot sale. The pieces in the front here are for listing. Those need processed. These are for pricing for the booth. And um, before the boxes would come to about right here. So there was like a really narrow pathway through, but um, we condensed it. Part of the reason we condensed it is because we actually hung this up here to try to um, put um, quilts. Because we're gonna be taking pictures of quilts up here, hanging the quilt, and then we're gonna just erase the background. So this is gonna be the quilt picture taking spot. And uh, so we need space to be able to step back and snap the picture and then remove the background. So these chairs obviously are gonna have to move, but I think it's gonna work. I think it'll work once we remove the background just so that we can hang it because laying it out on the floor was just a little bit too much. But we're definitely gonna need a ladder to get it up there, I think. And here we are in my office. My supervisor is over here supervising Angela as she works. <laughs> Psycho Good job. Um, and Angela is sorting jewelry. Woohoo! Because Juliet had dumped a lot of the jewelry jars out. And I had dumped another jewelry jar. And then it was like, okay, well, <laughs> I think I'm bored with going through these now. And Angela knows what she's doing. So let's, <coughs> let's get Angela in there oh to go through that before we... Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make lots and lot costume them together. Lots. Yes, costume jewelry lots. And uh, sell them like that. So she is sorting them. I thought they were pop beads at first, but they're all. Hmm. Very cool. And we will even be selling junk. Yeah, because people like to do crafts with that sort of stuff. Or you could perhaps wear. Or you can miss, mix match. <laughs> I like it. Or if. <laughs> Or if they have hair like I used to have hair where I had it longer on one side, you really only need one earring. Yeah, see? See? Yeah? <laughs> see, I know when to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember that hair, do yeah. I do? Yep, yep. That look good on you. It you lasted for a while. I don't know, everybody says I can't pull off the green. <laughs> Who told you that? I've never seen those before. Me neither. They're really cute. Japan? Yeah. Chop it. Throw it in pile. Yeah, we'll take those. Throw it in the pile. All right, so since I started moving this way in the pile, I've decided to start moving this way in the pile. Um, here I am putting together some parking lot sale boxes. Um, this set right here. I should probably check the marking on the bottom before I do that, huh? Bavaria. Yeah, I'm not sure how much this would bring online, so I'm going to stick it in here. And then this, obviously, is a beautiful flow of blue. Unfortunately, it has a chip there on the edge. So I'm going to stick that in here as well. But over here, let's move slowly so you don't get sick. We've got a few things out on the table here. Um, these are glass tumblers that Angela actually just sold me. She brought them in today and I was like, hey, you want to buy these? And I'm like, sure. I used to shop Angela's uh, booth a lot when she was set up at one of the local antique malls. Um, so she has these tumblers. They're Victorian. They're all really neat and they're all different. I love them. So we have all this here. Over here, these were boxes that I discovered while I was cleaning up. So we've got this. It's a restaurant wear, but it's like nursery rhymes. And there's three different pieces here. Three different nursery rhymes. We've got another flow blue piece that was not broken. It's got deer on it. Cashmere, F, M, and Company. A little chip on the back, but I don't think that's gonna hurt it. Two, well, I was going to say two pieces of Murano, but I'm not sure about this one. This one, I am certain, is Murano. I think it actually has a sticker. Ah, yes. Sticker on the bottom. So, we've also got this beautiful piece. This piece, 
I might stick in the booth as well as this piece just because they're very large. Obviously, they need cleaned. <laughs> Got a frog here. I wasn't sure if this was Fenton or not, but it is hand painted. Put a miniature punch bowl set. This bird. Really beautiful bird. Uh, this device. I found a fairy light. A box. A monkey that I think might be Stife. Not sure about that. This is a beautiful cranberry glass with an applied handle. Not sure on who makes that. This one is Viking. And I didn't realize that until I turned it over and I saw Viking on the bottom. Here's a carnival glass bowl. And Imperial Glass Company is the name on that one. So I've got all of these pieces here. And I just have to designate them for either Booth or eBay. So I'm trying to get farther away from doing oversized items on eBay now that we have the Booth. So I'm not sure. I know at least one of these pieces is going in the booth and I have to decide which one. I was just pointing these out to Eric because Dina and I pulled them out of a box the other day. I think I paid $45 for both of them. I think I did. Or maybe they were at $45 and then somebody else started bidding against me. I can't remember. But I really loved them. <laughs> I don't know why. They're not really my style, but there was something about them that I just thought was romantic or something like that. So anyway, I thought they were actually missing one of the arms, but I realized that this is the switch. So there is no arm missing, and it's even been rewired. Of course, this piece right here is definitely, definitely a booth item because of all the fragile parts. Same with this one back here. This one, unfortunately, has not, <laughs> has not been rewired. Look, we've got all the extra little crystals there. All of our little window treasures. Although I have these clear swung vases here and Michael said he was, he's been looking for some of those. So I think I may be uh, gifting those to Michael. They were a good will find a while ago and I just stuck glass flowers in them. The other box we have from Angela is this box right here. And I was so excited when I opened it and found this lovely lady in here. Because I remember bidding in an auction one time where I saw... A woman very similar to this and I was so excited uh, just because she was so pretty and I found out later that this is made in Jamaica um, but this one is very similar of course the one I had did not have a fruit a fruit basket on her head um, but this is the same same style and everything and I just think she's beautiful so I was really excited for that and um, little bellhop guy he's cute Japan. Was oh, he shaker? Oh, he's a shaker. Look. Shaker in the front, shaker in the back, and then these shakers. And uh, I had actually looked at these when Angela had them in her booth. So I saw them in the box. I was like, oh, I remember those. I love those. So we got some good stuff. And I purchased all of these from her. So I think I paid $40 for everything. And I, of course, we told her, you know, if we do exceedingly well, definitely come back to you um, with more but I thought that was great so Eric's been creeping around all of our stuff that we got in Ohio yeah I'm kind of jealous <laughs> kind of jealous <laughs> I just saw this uh, Port Marion piece here yeah Clematis Floridia I'm thinking that's probably a rare pattern all right we're gonna have to do a little research on that then and the one in the dinner plates to look for yeah is the Venus flytrap Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. It's, I didn't know that was a thing. It is a thing. It's game it's on now. It's a neat one, too. It's game it's, on it's now. Like, oh, my gosh. It's chomp after a fly. That's exciting. But, yeah, I've, I mean, I've bought thousands of pieces of that, and I do not, do not say I remember that one. The purple's kind of very cool. Yeah, it was just sitting on the shelf at the thrift store, and I was like, wait a second. I think that's Port Marion, and I turned it over. And then I spent maybe another 15 minutes in the booth going up and down looking right. for any more of it. Right. I'm like, where are the canisters? Where are the canisters? <laughs> yeah. All right, I gotta stop looking at shit. I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what were you saying about this, Eric? Oh, just that that was a good price. Yeah. Even it has a, a small hairline in there. Yeah, I got that at the. Um, just, let me see. But what? just. Where did I get that again? Habitat for Humanity. I Restore. did. Yep, in Frederick. Of all places. Fe Frederick, Maryland. Paid 150 for it. So. Yeah, really strong on the cobalt on the bird. Yeah. Well done.
I like it. And this back here, Andrew was saying, is mocha ware. Yes, indeed. And even in that condition, it's still good stuff. See that? Yeah. Yeah, just a few years ago, that was at its pinnacle. Really? Was, I mean, there's a one called an earthworm pattern. Uh-huh. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah. 10000 Oh, wow. Good shape. But really? now they're, it's dropped. There's a piece over at Bedford years. right now we looked at. What do George, you think of these? George taught me something interesting, too, that I, I, I probably should have known, but I didn't really think of it. The um, pour spout position indicates chocolate pot, coffee pot, teapot. Yes. I could have taught you that. Well, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so what do we think of these uh, Masonic pieces? Um, Angelo's got a guy that likes Masonic stuff. Yeah. And uh, these are these are all turn of the century. These are nice. I think these came from you, Eric, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to... So this is Thomas Maddox. It's a good piece. You're Philadelphia? Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. But he might, he might I got be a guy. He says, I got a guy. I got a guy. Hey, everyone needs a guy. <laughs> oh, he, bought a, he bought a Mason book off me. Look how well they marked that for something just to be fired at somebody. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was just spit her drink all over me. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, that's a lot of markings for something. I know, and that, that it's not like they intended to be collectible. Called, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're gonna drop this on you. You better save it. Yeah, it's one, an ashtray. Yeah, this was an ashtray. It's got the little. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, There's three of them. But this one trench is uh, it's it's unusual because most he of the trench art. Really good military dealer. Really. Um, most of the trench art is American shells. <laughs> you. This is <laughs> the best. This is a German shell, and we can't show the marking on it, but. This is definitely oddball. You don't usually see those. Yeah. Did the kids break it? Nope. The big kid doesn't have like chairs together. <laughs> you are handy. Is oh, that, she is. Is that why they felt like you were falling? Yes. Off? This is the one because it was backwards. <laughs> and it even says front and front, and he didn't match front and oh front. Oh, my God. <laughs> that explains why all the kids are scheduled. Okay, love you all. Got it, got it, got it. Bye. Bye. Nice you, Good to yeah, see you. Too, guys. <laughs> so I was digging through this box over here and pulled out this piece. It's marked on the bottom. It's marked on the bottom. Hein Matten. And then these are the pieces. There's only five search results showing up. And only four of them are brass items. Hammered brass. But they bring good money. Yeah. Holy smokes. I want that one. That's current listings. Let's go into completed. No exact matches for completed. All right. But this is. Yeah. It's German. I figured it was. What do you think this thing is? Andrew! For real? What? <laughs> Did he just do what I think? Yes, he did. What? I didn't do nothing. Okay. You're making music. He's a frog. So we stepped on a frog. Oh my gosh. Because there's just frogs all over the place yeah, in there here. Is. Look, it's right here. <laughs> See? It's making noise. Oh my god. Before I end this video, I just wanted to let all of you know that I have relaunched the Halloween campaigns from last year. We had two really fun Halloween designs that we used last year for a Halloween campaign. And I have also added a brand new design to our Halloween banana box crazy lamp lady merch line. So these shirts are only available for 10 days and uh, they're only available until October 3rd. They will start shipping on October 12th and you should receive them by October 22nd, just in time for Halloween. So I hope you guys go and check them out. I'm going to include links to all three campaigns down in the description. And uh, as always, I appreciate your support of the channel and I hope you like the designs. Thanks. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.